Happy Tuesday, guys. Okay. Here's the deal. So I'm going to recap the business meeting that we had last night. Um, I'm super excited about this year, this decade. Um, this is my new decade blend. Uh, magnify your purpose, highest potential and abundance, baby. This is the bomb diggity, okay? Um, I highly encourage you to grab all these three oils and let's take 2020 by storm. 2020 is the year of transformation. This decade, as I said yesterday, is huge. Um, personally for me, um, I will, all my kids will be gone in 10 years. I will actually have gone for um, two years by the time um, this new decade hits. Um, I plan on no longer living in Massachusetts. If I do live in Massachusetts, I'll be living in a two bedroom condo, uh, preferably in Cambridge or in Boston. I will own a piece of property by the beach. So every morning I can wake up and put my little tootsie toes in the sand. Um, I will be doing yoga. I will be leading a massively large team um, that all of you guys will be part of, um, helping people to live healthier, better lives and step into their purpose and the abundance that we all deserve to have because there's plenty of it out there. We just need to let the universe know how we need to redirect it towards ourselves. okay? So on that note, I'm gonna recap last night's meeting. Here's the deal. I want you to seriously sit down. This business, this, our life is personal growth and every day we are growing and we are expanding and we are doing all these amazing things. Yay us, okay? Sometimes the shit is hard. The personal growth stuff is hard. It is yucky. Sometimes it's easier to sit in a space where um, you feel comfortable, even though you're uncomfortable, like you just hate where you are um, because change is so daunting and scary. I want to break that mold. Okay. There are thousands of people out there who break the mold every day. I broke that mold. I was very, I, I had the mold for myself. I had let my things that had been told to me, what I, my perception of what I deserve to be was dictated by a lot of other things. And guess what? That is not my story to tell. My story is to tell is to be here and to help other people find their purpose, grow their businesses, share with people how to live a healthy, a wonderful life and really take life by the balls. Okay. I don't want anybody. I don't care what you think about me. If I'm feeling good and healthy, see ya. Okay. All right. So here's a couple things. One personal growth. So a couple things to do it. Um, some big people who are talking about this outside of myself, Mel Robbins, huge fan of hers. I saw her speak two years ago. She wrote the five second rule, grab the book, watch her first video on YouTube. Okay. Um, Love her, love her, love her. She is actually local in Massachusetts. She is putting together, it's called Best Decade Ever. You can go to melrobbins.com backslash best, de de best decade. Um, she is doing weekly um, lives. If you can always catch them on her YouTube, she will send you an email. And she has given you for free this little packet to print out. It is teaching you how to dream. Not the dreams that you dream at night, the dreams you don't want to tell anybody because you're too embarrassed and what if you fail? Those kind of dreams, okay? So she's a great resource. Um, I'm sorry, I just like updated the agenda. There is Brene Brown wrote a great, uh, put together, it was, it's an older video, but I was listening to it the other day. It is called, um, oh, it's the trust video and she's talking about braving. Okay. It's about nine minutes. Um, the link is above in here. It is on YouTube. I highly encourage you to do that. Here's the deal. We need to put ourselves into vulnerable, trusting relationships. Brene talk, Brown talks about the fact you will never truly have a relationship or a connection if you are not vulnerable and put yourself in a space where it could hurt. Okay. Cause that is where we grow and that is how the connections are made. That is why our hearts break when things happen because we have invested so much. And if you are not putting your heart into your family, into your life, into your job, into your passion, into being creative, you are not trusting yourself and you are breaking promises to yourself every day. So cut the crap out. Okay. Um, what was the other resource I wanted to tell you about? Oh, there's two podcasts. Jen brought up a great podcast called Deliciously Ella. Jen's been doing a lot of research on plant-based dieting. Um, a bunch of us are actually doing it for a period of time. I've made a three-month commitment. I don't know how long Jen is doing it for, but this woman is out of the UK. Her name is Deliciously Ella. Jen says the podcasts are fantastic. They are not just talking about nutrition, but they are talking about life and our, um, our limiting beliefs. This is all everybody is talking about this. Limiting beliefs, limiting beliefs, limiting beliefs. Guess what? The people 
out there in the universe who are making this shit happen never believe they can't make it happen you need to become one of those people you need to step into your space you need to step into your abundance into your health into your life okay and let that really resonate with you um okay so those are some great resources i put the agenda above in here you guys can click on that there's lots of information in there i want you to ask me questions um the two podcasts oh the other podcast that um there's been a couple people have put a couple links in here it's called heal thyself it is um from noon to sorry it is from nutritional practitioners and they are um talking about how to heal your body with food um they also do give a couple throws out to thieves in different ways throughout different episodes episode 16 and episode 13 um which is awesome for us but also just shows that the quality of product other people are recognizing um all right so those are kind of the um the key um things right now. There is another one called um, Unstuck by Sarah Harnish, who is a diamond with Young Living. She has written multiple books. Um, I'm a huge fan of hers. Um, one of them being Fearless, which is um, uh, one of the first books I ever read. And sometimes you guys got that in a welcome package for me. But you can go to oilability.com backslash unstuck. Again, um, all these are in the agenda and all these are posted above. Okay. But here we go. So quickly, I'm sorry, I went babbling. So the three things that I'm going to encourage you to do. Okay. One, I want you to sit down right now right now and say, okay, where do I want to be in 10 years? How old am I right now? What have I accomplished? And where the hell do I want to be? Um, most of us um, that I'm talking to, some of us may not be, our kids will be significantly older if not grown and out of the house. Okay, that makes a, that's a huge difference. So for me, this is my decade of like, I got to build something for me. I am not, I want this for myself. I want this for my family. I want this for my husband. I want this. Like, this is mine. This is my passion. No one has the passion that I have for this business. Um the way that I have it. You have your own passions for your life. Um, I want passion in my life and I want fun and I want to play and I want to do things and I'm no longer going to talk about them. I'm just going to start doing them and stepping into that space. So really sit down. Where do you want to be? Okay. So I want to be here. Most people are going to say, I don't want to be where I am today. So you want to be somewhere else. Okay. So you put that huge goal out there and maybe it takes you doing this best day decade ever with Mel Robbins to really be like, really learning how to dream again and to putting yourself back into like, I want to be a ballerina when I'm little. Because guess what? Our brains weren't limiting back then. But now, we're, oh, we can't be a ballerina because why not? You don't have to be a ballerina. But if you want to go take dance lessons, go do them. Who's telling you you can't do it? Okay. So that's the first thing. Here's the second thing that's most important. How the effing hell are you going to get there? Most of the time, you need money, right? Okay. So if you love these products and you love, um, the multi-level marketing business plan and you've seen the comp plan, and if you haven't, please go look at it. Okay. Why not use this business of helping people live healthier, healthier lives become your way of getting to where you want to be in 10 years? Why not? Can you put aside 30 minutes a day, an hour a day? Is it worth it? Or are you gonna still say I don't have time and then 10 years go by and you're in the same spot and then who are you mad at? Whose fault is that? Stop letting yourself be the reason why you aren't getting to where you wanna be, okay? Um, I'm happy to sit down and talk to anybody about that. The next couple things for everybody in here is like, hell yes, I'm using this business and I'm gonna grow this shit and I'm gonna go someplace with this because it's important to impact people and to share with them. What's the number one thing people need to get out of their house? The toxins that are in their house, the ones under the sink, the ones that are in their medicine cabinets, the ones that are in their face creams. Why? Because they will be healthier and their body will feel good. And when your body feels good, guess what happens? You want to go out and you want to take life by its balls. Okay. Um, as opposed to be like, no, it's okay. I'm in my forties. It should be okay for me. Everything to hurt. BS, BS. Okay. I'm calling BS on that situation. So if you want to do this and you're like, Kim, I'm in, I love you. Like, let's do this. Like I'm all fired up. Here's the deal. You're going to make a commitment to yourself. If you need an accountability partner, I am more than happy to be that person for you. You need to start talking about how young living, financially, physically, emotionally, um, skin-wise, whatever you want to talk about has impacted your life and you need to start telling people about it. You have now an obligation to share with other human beings why you feel good and why this matters, okay? I don't care if I never thought I'd be talking in front of people. I certainly as hell did not think I'd be doing live videos. 
no way, no how, here I am, I could care less. Because guess what? I'm so passionate about this and people need to know. So you want to do that? You need to meet up with four people a month, okay? Whether it be four people, like you have a class of 50, if you have a class of one, I don't care what it is, four connections a month where you are impacting someone's life. And of that, every month, set a goal for yourself. I, like Young Living, used to do the Help Five. I thought it was very helpful because when you're helping five people every month, you can see incrementally how it is in expanding your business. You're getting other business builders with you. You're impacting other people's lives and you're growing financially abundantly on the backside of it. And that's what we all want, right? I mean, why not be in a business of doing something? Like, there's nothing wrong with helping somebody and getting paid for that. That's what people do all the time. Doctors do it, so why are we so embarrassed to do it? Um, making someone's life feel better, okay? So if you wanna do that, you sign up five people underneath you every night. You share with them, you get them healthy, you get them to see your vision, and you keep that growing, okay? So that is your goal for yourself. You wanna have that four classes a month, four connections, okay? And within that, you wanna sign up five people a month, okay? To watch your income grow, your prosperity grow, your abundance grow, and you're changing people's lives. Yay, that is the purpose behind this. We are changing people's lives and guess what we get paid to do that? Yes, amen, sister. Okay, so those are the things. What, personal growth, where do you wanna be, how are you gonna be there? You gotta sign up people every month um, that gets them on there, get them on ER, do whatever you need to do. Um, and host those classes, okay? Make this fun, this is fun. It is. It, it can be a process, but guess what? We're going back to basics, just like cooking whole foods, using plant-based products is going back to basics. We're not recreating the rule, we're actually, we all, 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 we're actually going backwards, okay? Um, so I hope that is a good recap for you guys. Um, we have lots of amazing things coming up. I'm going to launch something on Friday, talking about health, I think I'm gonna do it on Friday, talking about um, health coaching for a period of time, um, using essential oils, and um, swapping out products. So that's something I'm looking at. I am happy to talk to anyone at any time. Um, if you want to sign up your best friend, your mom, do it. Okay, this is the time. It is the year of transformation. It's the year of a decade. You get to create where you want to be today, a year from now, and certainly as hell where you want to be in 10 years. All right, guys. I love you. Bye.